Hello, welcome to The Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Thursday, January the 1st. Happy New Year. And today is the day we also celebrate the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus. And here is the story from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. The designation of this day as the Feast of the Holy Name is new since 1979. Previous Anglican prayer books called it the Feast of the Circumcision. January 1st is, of course, the eighth day after Christmas, and the Gospel according to Luke records that eight days after his birth, the child was circumcised and given the name Jesus. The Law of Moses required that every male child be circumcised on the eighth day from his birth, and it had been long the custom to make it a festive occasion when the family and friends came together to witness the naming of the child. The liturgical commemoration of the circumcision is of Galatian origin, and a council in Tours in the year 567 enacted that the day was to be kept as a fast day to counteract the pagan festivities connected with the beginning of the new year. In the Roman tradition, January 1st was observed as the Octave Day of Christmas, and it was specially devoted to the Virgin Mother. The early preachers of the Gospel lay stress on the name as showing that Jesus was a man of flesh and blood, though also the Son of God, who died a human death, and whom God raised from the dead to be the Savior. The name was given to Jesus as the angel Gabriel explained to Joseph, because he would save his people from their sins. The literal translation of the name is Yeshua, or, and that means Yahweh saves. Then, as now, people long to be free from evils, political, social, and spiritual. And the name of Jesus calls to mind the true freedom, which is ours, through Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave to your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be a sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart, we pray, the love of him who is the Savior of our world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.